Hi, I'm Alan Andash. Welcome to my 10-minute No Excuses Kung Fu Workout. Let's begin with some Qi Kung exercises. First one is ankle rotations. Rise up onto the toes of your left foot and rotate your ankle like this. Try to get your whole leg involved and make as big of a circle as you can. Now let's do the right side. Next one, wrist rotations. Interlock your fingers and rotate your wrists forward like this. Now rotate backwards. Now let's do some knee rotations. Place your hands above your knees and rotate your knees clockwise. Now counterclockwise. Now hip rotations. Place one arm in front and the other behind and rotate your hips clockwise. Now counterclockwise. Let's do some chest stretches. Keep your palms facing forward as you swing your arms outward and to the rear. Now let's try some forward backward arm circles. Try to circle your right arm forward and your left arm backwards at the same time. Reverse direction. Now let's do some crossed arm neck rotations. Cross your arms and place your hands on your legs as you rotate your head clockwise. Now counterclockwise. Now let's try a waist power exercise. From a back stance position, keep your front foot solid and at a 45 degree inward angle as you rotate your rear foot to a bow and arrow stance, letting your arms wrap around your waist. Now rotate your rear foot back to the starting position and let your arms follow. Okay, do it with me. Left foot forward. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. Let's do the other side. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's do some front side and back swing kicks. Keep your swinging leg straight during this one and make sure you work your body like a teeter-totter when doing the side and back swings. Let's review one more time. Front, side, back. Okay, let's do all three on one count. Left leg first. Ready? One. Two. Three, four, five. Now the right leg. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five. Now let's do some crunches. Left leg off the ground. Make sure you keep your neck stiff and bend at the hips on this one. And also make sure that you breathe out your mouth every time you crunch. Okay, left leg up. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go right into bicycle crunches. Elbows toward opposite knees. Now into alternate leg lifts, hands palms down under the tailbone. Now right into clockwise knee circles with the ankles crossed. Now counterclockwise. Let's go right into an elbow plank. Keep your body as straight as possible and maintain your breathing. Now a reverse elbow plank. Now let's try a sideways elbow plank, left arm down. Now right arm down. Let's try a dynamic tension exercise. Make two hand postures like this. Stand in a horse stance, take an inward breath through your nose as you bring your hands up to your shoulders. Now slowly breathe out the mouth and push your hands outward as if trying to move an enormous weight. Your body should slowly become tense from your hands all the way down to your feet. Relax as you breathe in through the nose again and return your hands to the starting position. Now do it with me 10 times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This next one is a combination of four hand techniques, straight punch, roundhouse punch, uppercut, and angled hook. Let's try it from a back stance to bow and arrow stance, utilizing the same motion as you did in the earlier waist power exercise. Make sure your rear foot turns every time you strike. Straight punch, roundhouse, uppercut, hook. Straight punch, roundhouse, uppercut, hook. Okay, do it with me ten times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the other side. Straight punch, roundhouse, uppercut, hook. Straight punch, roundhouse, uppercut, hook. Okay, do it with me ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. For this last one, we're going to do a front, side, and back kick combination. The only difference between this one and the swing kick exercise you did earlier is that all the kicks snap all the way out and back. Let's try it slow. Left leg first. Front. Side, back. Okay, do it with me. All three kicks on one count. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's do the other side. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Congratulations, you made it. Now, if you keep it up and get the whole thing down to 10 minutes, I promise you'll get more out of it than you will at the gym in two hours. For those of you who didn't make it, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You get in shape the same way you got out of it, little by little. So here's what to do. Start this program from the beginning and do as many of the exercises as you can. When you reach your limit, stop. Then, each time you work out after that, keep adding one exercise until you can do the whole program in 10 minutes. I'm Alan Ondash. Thanks for watching, and happy training. Download this program along with a non-descriptive follow-along version, available for all handheld Android devices, just $3.99 from Google Play.